Here's the hit by Matt Rempe on Van Riemsdyk that was called Two Minutes for Interference. Fundamentally, as a check, I don't really have a problem with the technique. Rempe comes in, he's as low as he's required to be in this situation. I mean, he could always try and get lower, but in this case, he doesn't do anything to stay high to target the head. He actually does a good job of rotating his hips and going hip to hip. He's not leading with the shoulder or making contact with his elbow or arm. He's swiveling his lower torso around and driving his hips right there through the shoulder of his opponent. Technique-wise, stick on the ice, one hand, rotate the hips, knees stay bent through the entire process, only comes off the ice as a result of contact. I don't mind the way the contact was delivered. In situations like this, though, I always ask, what would the player have done had the other player not turned around and opened himself up to contact? Van Riemsdyk is clearly not eligible for clean contact from Rempe's angle of approach right now. So if he doesn't swivel around and open his chest up for contact, what does Rempe do? Does he hit anyway? In which case, that would be very dangerous. Now, we can't penalize on what ifs. I mean, of course, Van Riemsdijk did open himself up, so Rempe hit him cleanly from the front. I say cleanly as in technique-wise. But we have to remember what the call was. It wasn't illegal check to the head. It wasn't elbowing. It wasn't boarding. It was interference, which means that the officials believe this player was not eligible for contact. And understandably, The first thing people think of when they hear interference is let's see when the puck left and how long it took between the puck leaving the stick and contact. And you're going to say, well, it wasn't that long. The NHL gives a grace of like 0.6 seconds or something like that. So when you watch it real time, it is pretty bang, bang, puck gone, boom. But what the interference rule actually means is that you have 0.6 seconds to finish whatever process of checking you already started. It doesn't mean you can initiate a new one. And I already said that right now, this player is not eligible for clean contact from Rempe from this angle of approach. The puck leaves his stick and his back is facing out. Rempe right now, if he's playing it smart, has no idea whether he's going to throw body contact or not. Remember what I said, what would he have done if that player had not opened himself up for contact? So Rempe cannot be committed legally to contact yet at this point in time when the puck has already left this player's stick, which means that this check technically was initiated after the puck was gone, which is by definition interference. Only right now does he know it's safe for body contact. So in my opinion, this is a great call, minor penalty interference.